This is Keisha here at TradeWithResolve.com and this will be a tutorial video on the Ninja Trader platform. Are you new to the channel or interested in platform tutorials, learning basic trading terminology, or viewing live day trades, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Let's discuss the Superdome. So the Superdome is helpful because you are able to view your P&L right from the Superdome. And so let's discuss how to go ahead and add that to your platform. So you can select new and then Superdome. So here is our Superdome and let's say we would like to view a specific instrument. So let's say we want to view ES. You can click on the magnifying glass and then we can type in ES and we have ES features, E-mini S&P 500 features, so this is the correct one. So you can select that and then click OK. So now we are viewing ES. And we can see what the current price of ES is. And let's say we want to have multiple tabs here. So maybe we like watching ES along with CL. So let's say we would like to view CL as well. So you can have easy access to those instruments by adding another tab. So you can click on the plus sign here and that's gonna give you a new Superdome for that specific instrument. So now let's go ahead and add CL. So you can click on the magnifying glass again and this time we are looking for CL. Here we are, crude oil features. Select CL and click OK. So now we have the ability to view ES and CL right on the Superdome. Now, the platform will also save the instruments that you have viewed recently. So if you click on the arrow, you can see that I have viewed these other instruments. So let's say we want to view RTY. You can click on RTY. Let's say we want to add another tab. So now we can drag and drop the tabs to change the order. So now we have ES, RTY, and CL. Next, let's discuss how you can add the PL ticks and points here on the right hand side. This is how I choose to set up my platform. You don't have to customize it exactly the way I have mine. This is just personal preference. So let me show you how you can add this to the side here. You can right click on the side and then select columns. So let's say we would like to add the PL column. Select PL and then add. Now let's select apply. So now our PL column has been added. So let's say we would also like to view the ticks as well. So again, right click and select columns. We're going to select PL again and then select add. So now we need to change the display unit. So on the first one, so we have the PL and that is being displayed in currency. So let's change this display unit to ticks. Select apply. And then we can label this ticks, for example, and select apply and OK. So now we have our PL column and ticks column here on the Superdome. So whenever you enter into a position, you're going to be able to see exactly how many ticks or how much currency you're up or down on each trade. All right, so that is the Superdome window. So we now understand how to add an instrument how to add tabs and manipulate and change the order of the tabs, and we understand how to add the different columns here within the Superdome. All right, so let's say you are happy with how you have customized the Superdome. You can save this as a template. So what you can do is right click 
and select templates and save as. This will allow you to save this specific template so that you do not have to re-customize this setup every time you log into the platform. So again, right click, head over to templates and save as. Once you have saved the template, you can select load and then you'll see the template that you saved, mine is called Superdome template, and then you can select load. And here's my template here where I have PL, ticks, and points here within the Superdome. All right, so that's going to save you quite a bit of time once you have customized the template or any window to your personal liking, be sure to save the template so that you do not have to re-customize every time you log into the platform. This concludes the Superdome tutorial. In the next video, we will cover how to set up your charts. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.